The probation period is a structured programme of review meetings held over the course of six months or three months within Shire Services. This process is for new starters, true new starters to the council or for those moving from a casual role to a contracted role. There is a probation form within the ERP that can record the assessment and the review periods. So you can find the probation form by using the search function in the top right, start typing ahead, probation form, or you can go to the main menu, forms, and then under new starter, here's the probation form. Okay, the form description is not pre-populated on this form. Um, this is viewable to other people, so do not include any personal details. Um, just going to add in probation form and then today's date for this purpose. You then select the resource from the drop down and then it brings through all the details. If they have more than one position, you can click on the arrow to collect the correct position. Please add the date the, prob the probation starts from and then the proposed end date. You can select from the calendar or you can type ahead what this would be and click the tab key. Okay, so the target review dates. So from here, it would be um, for council corporate employees. This is normally two months, then four months and six months. Um, for Shire services, that's four weeks, eight weeks and 12 weeks. For this purpose, I'm just going to put in a month. For each of them. In. Okay, so these are the targeted review dates. Okay, um, this form can be saved. So it might be that when your employee starts, you set this up with the targeted review dates and then you save as draft. This has now been saved. If you then wanted to come back in and um, access it later on. If you go back into probation form, it'll go, it'll bring it up as if to do a new one. But if you delete where it says new and press the space bar, it'll bring up any others that you have um, saved or submitted previously. So if we then tab across, it'll bring through all those details again. So for the on the first review, you would uh, click on the first review tab. There is then a second review, final review, um, and a third review. Um, depending on how many of these review periods are necessary, you would then that you would then record what the actual date of the review was. Um, you can add your comments here on overall performance, um, and then you select whether it was achieved fully or not achieved. The same for overall attendance. Here, overall attendance, you would then select, is it acceptable, not acceptable, or not applicable? And then for overall attitude and conduct here, the options here are acceptable, not acceptable, not applicable. And then you would add text comments here. Um, any comments from the resource themselves. So this is because this will be taking place in person. Um, you can record them on behalf of your employee. And then the duties, this is adding um, text information in here. So there are three text boxes about duties, employee perception, areas of difficulty, job satisfaction, line manager's judgment and improvement plans. So when this first review has been completed, you can then again save as draft. That will be saved and then come back in, come back in for the second review, complete the details within here and then final review or third review and then final review. So at each stage, it would be completing that tab and then saving um, only when um, the probation period has completely finished and it has been fully completed um, should you click submit form. If at any point during the second review and the final review, the outcome is selected as 
unsuccessful, uh, the form will go to the HR team to initiate the staff leave process. Um, if you get any unsuccessful outcomes at any point, then please do discuss this with your HR business partner.